Hey guys, you want to come in? Got another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. Hope you guys are all having a great day. And let's get ready for the beginning of the army compositions here for today's battle. Uh, we are on the settlement of Lubfordum. Town center for Lubfordum is sitting right up over there. We do have a 2v2 siege today. Let us take a look at the armies. First, we will start off looking at the attackers. We have an Arverni here being commanded by Macrarfo, and he has brought six units of devastating Os1, one of those being his general, four units of chosen swordsmen, three Celtic warriors, two heavy horse, and a giant ballista. And then we have a Carthage, the mighty Carthage over here, being commanded by Skid86, and he has 10 units of the Libyan infantry, two African pikemen, two noble fighters, one Carth uh, Carthaginian hoplite, sorry, one unit of the Car Noble Cavalry, that is his general. He also has three Crete archers and a Balearic Slinger. Getting inside, ooh, we got Cav coming out, nice. Okay, inside we do have a Nabatea being commanded by Mr. Nobody, and he has five units of the Nabatean Swordsmen, three Nabatean Axe Warriors, three Rakem Palace Guard. General is a Noble Cavalry. He also has four units of the Heavy Archers, and three units of the Hellenic Desert Cataphracts outside already. His ally here is Pontus, being commanded by Lord Skizfire, and he has 11 Pontic Swordsmen, 4 Pontic Royal Guard. Uh, yeah, 4 Pontic Royal Guard, they are the Cavalry Unit, sorry, right there. One of those being the General, 4 units of Eastern Archers, and a Scythe Chariot. Ooh, 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 can do a lot of damage with those boys. But alright guys, let's get ready for the beginning of the battle. Hopefully you do enjoy. Please remember to hit the like button and drop some comments down below. Boy, what a way to start off. Three units of the Pontic Royal Cavalry now coming outside of the gate here. And they have an opportunity along with the two units of the Hesert, uh, Hellenic Desert Cataphracts. One of them did come back inside the settlement, but the other two still out over here causing a little bit of disruption for the attackers. And oh boy, here we go. Pontic Royal Cavalry charging in onto this Libyan infantry, getting a little bit of the African pikemen there as well. But yeah, this Libyan infantry taking some losses. Definitely taking some losses. 22 kills so far for the Pontic Royal Cavalry. Second unit and third. Looks like they're going to cycle around the front side here. Ooh, African pikemen. Not looking happy. Not looking very happy at all. But oh, the cataphracts got around the line. Getting into the Cretan archers. Looks like we're going to have... Oh, a second unit right there. Massive charge. You know, to the Balearic slingers. Getting around the front line there of the Carthaginian hoplites. Balearic Slingers and Archers do not like getting run over. Pretty much nothing gets likes getting run over by Cataphracts. Uh, we do have one of the Pontic Cavalry over here currently challenging the Noble Cavalry General, doing a ton of damage to that General as well, down to 52 men. We do have some of the Libyan Infantry finally making their way over here, going to get involved in this melee, maybe going to push that unit of Pontic Royal Cavalry away. But yeah, Balearic Slingers and the Cretan Archers suffering some very heavy losses. Cataphracts again getting another big charge in onto this Libyan Infantry unit. Now less than 100 men left in that unit. Four kills total for them so far. Uh, Carthage actually up on the walls already. We have a unit of the Nabataean Axe Warriors. It looked like they were defeated on top of the wall there. But the Heavy Archers here of Nabataea starting to loose those arrows onto just the massive blob of infantry that's up on the wall. Carthage, I know Carthage is dealing with this issue out here, but he's going to lose a lot of men. He's got to get these guys off the wall. He's got to get them off the wall, but he's being pinned up there. Unit of the Nabataean Swordsman on either side. This Nabataean Swordsman not holding for very much longer. Looks like they are losing the fight decisively. A lot of the Carthaginian infantry on the wall there, though. They are going to suffer many, many, many losses. Let's get over here and see what our Verney is up to. Uh, Arverni does have a bunch of his Celtic warriors. Looks like a couple of units of his chosen swords went up on the wall here as well. Gallic Hunters now moving into position, getting out of that fog of war that they like to hide in. Oh, Carthage General, I just happened to see his banner starting to wave over there. I wanted to see, but the Carthage General has been taken out. I'm not sure if the General himself has died, but they, uh, the General unit has definitely been removed from today's battle. That is going to be a rough go for the remaining of the battle here for Carthage. Looks like one of the Pontic Royal Cavalry over there was just taken out. Yeah, I think they were. They did lose one unit there. This unit here, 69, now 70 kills. This unit here with only 13. The Cataphracts, 141 and 190. Very well done with those two units of cavalry so far. Oop, Alaric Slinger's coming back from routing. 
Maybe they're going to try and get some shots in onto this Hellenic Cat Desert Cataphract. I'm not sure. Big line of Osworn, some chosen swordsmen there as well. Cut the warriors on the wall. Let's take a look and see how they're doing. They're only currently taking on one unit of Pontic swordsmen, but it looks only one unit of them is currently fighting. The other one just standing up on top of the wall there. You can see that they're fighting a little bit, but they're not actually all engaged in the melee. And unfortunately, because he knocked down this wall section right here, he will not be able to use that staircase to be able to get down off the wall. So, so far, the defender's doing a great job having the units in the, in the perfect position to keep some of these guys from the attackers up on the wall. Let's get back over here, see how the Carthaginian units are doing. Looks like they are starting to finally get down off the wall, but a lot of losses up here. 10 from that unit. This unit down to 107, 120, and that unit down to 37 men. Ooh, big time losses. So far, this cavalry is definitely being a gigantic distraction, at least for the Carthaginian force. Arverni has yet to face any of this cavalry. You can see a lot of Carthaginian troops now starting to scramble, maybe trying to make their way over towards the wall. Hopefully he's not trying. Looks like he is, though. I was going to say, hopefully he's not trying to chase this cavalry down with melee infantry. He's just not going to catch them. He is just not going to catch them at all. I honestly would just try my best to get the rest of these units inside the settlement. He is going to lose another unit over there. I think that was a Libyan infantry unit that just got taken out over here on this side. Probably was. I mean, it could have been one of the noble fighters. No, it is a Libyan infantry. I just saw the man right there. All right, back over on the other side. This definitely looks like it's going to be a pretty good push. All Arverni needs to do is start getting down off the walls. But again, the archers in perfect position. Firing away this unit here with three kills. We have another unit right there with 14 and zero kills. This is a unit is actually getting shot at. So the attackers making good use of their archers so far. Four units of the Gallic Hunters. And we do have one unit of the Cretan Archers over here for Carthage. Firing away. We do have an Oathsworn starting to make his way forward. Okay, here we go. The attackers are starting to mean a little bit of business. And I see right there, Carthage General has actually died. So the remaining of this battle, their morale is going to be very, very, very touch and go. Uh, these Carthaginian units did make it down off the wall, though. So they will be able to start getting in here. Ooh, what is this? Unit of Nabateen Archers, 96 kills being forced up into melee. Are these guys out of ammo, too? No. We have another unit of Nabateen Axe Warriors coming over. Hopefully they will be able to get a good charge in there. This is a cycle unit. This is a cycle charge unit. Definitely don't want to just leave them in melee very long. They, they do okay, but... They're much better just continuously charging them in and out, maybe allowing that frenzy charge to do some extra damage, give them an extra charge bonus when they do initially charge in there. Pan back out over here. Let's see what's going on. Is that cavalry? Yeah, cavalry's still over here. Still taking... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got some Arverni, the heavy horse, now coming over here. Looks like he's going to chase that Pontic Royal Cavalry away. But we still have this. Hellenic Desert, Hellenic Desert Cataphract right there. 235 kills so far for them. This could be bad for this heavy horse. I know they are melee cavalry, and overall they will do better in the actual melee. But ooh, another big charge coming in. Charge bonus of 78 Big hit into the back of that unit of heavy horse. You can see those numbers dropping very, very quickly. Lost 10 men, 11, 12. Oh, wow. He is losing a lot of men right now. Really losing a lot of men. Carthage, the final unit over here. No, well, not final. Another unit of Libyan infantry here, unfortunately, getting hammered. But we have another cataphract making their way. 263, and they are going to destroy this unit of Libyan infantry. Unfortunately, facing the wrong way. And here comes that charge we're going to see right here as the Carthaginian unit passes us by. Decent charge. Decent charge into the back, but still enough to knock a ton of them on the ground. And look at that. Completely wrecked them. Cataphracts now over 300 kills this early on in the battle. But Carthage did send some of his units over here. He's got the one unit of African pikemen still outside. Two units of the Libyan infantry up on the wall. I don't see his noble fighters anymore. I guess they're dead. Libyan infantry, another African pikeman there, I think. All of Carthaginians, the Carthaginian uh, noble fighters are dead. Yeah, that's another Libyan infantry right there. This has been a rough go for Carthage for sure, but now the battle is pretty much on the back of the Osworn and Chosen Swordsman Celtic Warriors of Arverni. 
Oswald shouldn't have that much of a problem with the remaining bit of this unit of Pontic Swords. There they go, on their way out, gone. Let's see what that unit got. 56 kills. We have another unit standing at the ready here. Maybe they've already used all of their javelins. 17 kills for them. This would be a perfect time if they did still have javelins to be able to toss them down there. But Osborne not giving them a second to think. They're going to charge right into that unit of Pontic Swords. We're going to continue the pressure of the attack. As like I said, this is all pretty much on our Verney right now. Artillery back here, 36 kills. Looks like he is unfortunately out of ammunition. I can't believe this Libyan infantry is still holding on, actually. Oh, wait, never mind. As soon as I say that, they start wavering. Pontic Royal Cavalry pulling out just at the right time, probably. Bad cataphracts coming in, going to finish them off. Yep, Libyan infantry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Libyan infantry unit. Cataphracts eating you up. Eating you up. So, all right, let's see what we still have. Is that other... Yeah, the other cataphract's still inside. He didn't even need to use them. Oh, boy. This is looking rough. The balance of power has absolutely shifted back in favor of the attackers. But Carthage still, like I said, has a couple units left over here. Libyan infantry here. Libyan infantry actually all the way down over here, climbing down off of the wall finally. But they are in the javelin zone. That murder stick area right there getting dropped. You guys have more? Looks like they may be out. I don't see any more javelins in their hands right now. That Carthaginian unit is suffering a lot of losses, down to 77 men now. And this whole front, this whole attack on this side for Carthage has been taken care of. You can see a lot of Carthaginian units mixed in some Nabataean units on the wall as well, but a lot of Carthaginian units have died on that wall. Uh, if we come over here to get the bullet, nope, ballistic crew was like, no, 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 I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run, there's still 40 of us in this unit, we have to get up towards the front line, maybe we'll be able to do something. Doubtful, but maybe the ballistic crew will be able to do something. Back inside the settlement, we do have an oath sworn here, taking on these Pontic Swordsmen, it says that they're losing slightly at the moment. Pontic Swordsmen are losing as well, so I'm not really sure exactly what's causing them to be losing. I don't see any projectiles coming anywhere, you guys, oh, maybe they're throwing just a little bit of javelin volleys, little bit. Here and there. Looks like maybe just on the end. Yeah, they're getting some shots in. Getting some tosses in on the end of that O Sworn unit there. Might not be a terrible idea for the Arverni player to just shift out. Just cycle out this one O Sworn. Get another stronger one up into melee. And really start putting some more pressure on this Pontic front line. O Sworn against Pontic Swordsman. O Sworn all the way. All the way O Sworn. No doubt in my mind at all. But all right, here we go. Arverni has won this side of the wall, finally clearing out that Pontic Swordsman that was there. Chosen Swordsman coming down, Celtic Warriors getting down off the wall now as well. We have, a con we have uh, some of the Gallic Hunters now making their way through the breach, starting to get some shots into these Pontic Archers, the Eastern Archers firing back. 76 kills for that. Ooh, where'd the other unit go? Oh, he, pu he pulled them back. He pulled them back. 48 kills for this unit, still very healthy unit. This unit here with 56 left in the unit, zero kills. So they definitely, probably, should still have a lot of ammo left. But okay, here we go. Second unit of Osorn have made their way in. Do we have javelin volleys over here? Possibly. If this unit of Pontic Swords would actually just kind of shift it a little bit over here and he thinned the line up, he would be able to get some really great shots. And it looks like what he may be doing, getting that line a little bit closer, a little bit closer. He's trying to get them to get that angle there. Maybe having this unit of Pontic Swords would going into shield wall might have them collapse over onto this side. There they go. There's the javelins. Okay. Getting some tosses in there. Oswan already up almost to 50 kills. That first unit that was in here, I don't know where they went. Is this them? Yes, it is. 235 kills for them. Very nice. Teaming up with a unit of Libyan infantry, taking on the Pontic Swordsman. Not going to be able to hold back against all of that. Abitian Heavy Archers here, 112 kills firing away down the line here. Are they firing into the Galax? They are. But they have three units of Gallic Hunters firing back at them. Might not be a bad idea. Though they're more than likely almost out of ammunition. So, I mean, use the rest of the ammo that you can. If they still had at least, you know, a quarter ammo, I would say maybe pull them back. But they are doing a lot of damage. They're actually starting to route one of the units of Gallic Hunters with only 41 kills. That is rough. Oh, they routed. Maybe they come back. 32, 31 of them left in the unit. They might come back after they get outside. Maybe. Still have some pretty strong infantry outside, though. A couple units of Oswan. The Oswan General still outside as well. Heavy Horse and a Celtic Warrior still out here. So a lot of strong infantry still outside for Arverni. 
Um, still have the African Pikeman for Karthik, so I mean, he's still got pushing power. He's still got the ability to get inside, get those pikes down, and maybe be able to do some damage. Let's take a look at this. O's one unit just go into town. Ooh, what is this? A Re Ooh, Rakem Palace Guard getting over here. That might be a little bit of a problem for the Oswan. Could definitely be a little bit of a problem for the Oswan. And you can see the Rakem Palace Guard now starting to shift over a little bit, getting this. Yeah, this Pontic Swordsman unit has a good angle now. Very nice angle now. Going to be able to get some good javelins into that Oswan. Just hopefully they start firing right now. There we go. A couple more, a couple more, a couple more. Very, very strong spear infantry unit right there for Nebatia, though. Rakem Palace Guard, very solid. I'll just kind of leave my cursor right there so you guys can see some of those stats. Biggest stat, obviously, is 115 armor. Huge, huge amount of armor. But we do see Nebatia starting to kind of come around over here with the balance of power. Looks like it's pretty much staying in the same zone. Yeah, definitely is staying pretty much in the same area. Gallic Hunters here still have ammo, but they are getting shot. Oh, no, both of the Gallics. Both of those Gallics getting taken out. Eastern Archers coming forward again, getting shots off. 109 kills for that unit of the Archers now. Chariots have shifted over onto this side. They are visible now. And now we have the Pontic Royal Cavalry General making his way forward. Let's take a look and see what's still outside over here. We have this Pontic Royal Cavalry, two more units of the Hellenic Cataphracts, and one other unit of the Pontic Royal Cavalry back inside, along with the untouched other Hellenic Desert Cataphract and the Nabataean Noble Cavalry General. Still, both of those units completely untouched. Full force units of cavalry. Definitely going to be a problem. Uh, we have some Osworn climbing up on a wall. Not really sure why they, why they came up the wall. They could have easily just came through the breach. Looks like the Osworn General's thinking about it. He maybe wants to come through the breach. But look at this, Eastern Archers, great angle right there. Really solid angle. Unfortunately, they are firing. Technically, they're firing in onto the shielded side of this Osworn, but they are getting destroyed. Dropped very quickly down to 78 men. Let's wait for another volley to come in here from those Archers. See the volley now coming in through the sky. Killed about four or five more. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oof. Dropping them down, but they do have 223 kills, 230 kills, I mean. So very well done so far with that unit of Osworn. We have some of the Cretan archers that made their way off of the wall. Might not have been a bad idea to actually leave them up on the wall to be able to get some shots in here. This might not be a bad idea to fire in onto this front line right there for Pontus. But he does still have two really solid units, 159 and 156. So both of those units of Pontus Swordsman are still very, very solid. Rakem Palace Guard finally getting taken down. Down to 44 men, 78 kills though, and they did their job. They held this Osworn in place to just get completely pincushioned by this unit of Eastern Archers right there. Fire! Bounce power kind of shifted back. Now it's more towards the middle there. But again, I mean, we really just have Arverni taking on two forces. But Pontus has definitely lost the majority of his infantry. I see three units of Pontic Swordsmen remaining. I'm sorry, four, technically four. Yeah. I mean, basically four and a half units of Pontic Swords remaining in the battle here. So Arverni is definitely chugging away, doing a lot of damage. And oh, again, Cretan archers just get ripped apart. Eastern archers, Nabataean heavy archers doing the damage, doing the work that needs to be done. This Carthaginian archer unit might be a better idea. Just get them back outside. Really might not be a bad idea to get them outside. Now, I don't know if all of the Gallic Hunters routed. We did see one unit for sure, or two units for sure. Their banners disappear. Um, I'm not sure if all of the, the other two units are gone, but this Cretan Archer unit is definitely gone. Banner is not visible any longer. Unit down to 45 men, 111 kills. Not too bad. Not too bad. Chosen Swordsmen have now moved forward, so that first unit of Osworn have been taken out. Again, they did get over 230 kills, though. Another unit of Celtic Warriors now making their way around the corner. This might not be a bad idea. Try and thin them up and have them come in this way. Get a little bit of a side charge in onto this, onto the back. It would kind of be on the side, but a little bit of a rear charge to a degree, depending on how far up he was able to get the unit. More of a side charge, though, onto that Pontic Swords. But I'm not sure exactly how far in he can squeeze into that between that section of the, the building there and the unit to be able to get a pretty good charge. Back over on this side, though, Arverni has broken through. 
Nabatine Heavy Archers now running for their lives, chased by Chosen Swordsman and an Osworn unit. 380 for this Osworn unit. Wow. Almost 400 kills with Osworn. Very nicely done. Osworn getting into battle again with this Pontic Swordsman just hitting that headhunt. Are they exhausted? They're just winded. Okay. They're not exhausted yet. Chosen Swordsman here, 112 kills, but oh no, the Osworn getting taken out. That is rough to see. Definitely rough to see. I mean, almost 400 kills though. So with the Osworn, though, no, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Up oh, there's the standard bearer. Let's see what he can do. Just kind of standing there, looking at him. Oh nope, they broke. The Osworn broke. Did the Chosen Swordsman break? They're about to break. Chosen Swordsman, they're about to break. What is this? Another unit of Osworn up on the wall here. Might want to get this Osworn down and start coming down the wall over here. Start coming in this direction. Try and hit Pontus while they're reeling. Abateen Swordsman coming down off the wall. Osworn chasing them down. I think they are. I think they will be, I should say. They're up on the wall here, though. Still fighting away. Making their way closer and closer to that staircase, though. They will start descending here very, very shortly. Chosen Swordsman again taking on another unit of the Rakem Palace Guard. Pontic Swordsman holding up that ankle. And oh, look at this. Pontic Swordsman coming over here, chasing away a unit. Oh, I think that might have been a bit of a misclick. Might have been a little bit of a misclick. Maybe he didn't stop them from following, but oh no. The Cataphracts have returned. Pikemen are not going to be able to do anything unless they get those pikes down. Don't charge. Pikes down. Nope. Oh my god, what? The magic of Rome 2. The absolute magic of Rome 2. You just witnessed it right there. These guys just went, whoop, pikes in their hands immediately. That was crazy. I did not think they were going to get those pikes down fast enough. Really did not think so. Another unit of the heavy cataphracts here. 295 kills. Heavy horse moving. Nope, nope. Arverni's just moving further, closer to the wall. I think he feels like he lost the one unit of his heavy horse already. Doesn't want to lose the other one, but this is a problem. The, the pikes aren't going to be able to defend from both areas. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Cretans. Bye-bye. Charge in there. Cataphracts to charge in onto the back of the pikemen now, too. There they go. Getting into those Cretans as well. I mean, the pikes are back out. Somehow, magically, the pikes have shown back up they just you know mysteriously pop into their hands but the pike line is not right it is not ready to deal with this and they are losing decisively archers running for their lives not going to be able to get away super heavy shock cavalry chasing them down Cretan archers again how many men are we gonna have flying oh my god look at that jeez look at how far that guy went flying the guy in the green over there wow he got tossed. And there goes the Cretans. Gone. Only 26 kills. That is very rough. 389 with this Desert Cataphract. That unit there with 383. Oh, boy. Good kills with the cavalry. Really solid kills with the cavalry. All right. Arverni breaking through another unit of the Pontic Swordsman there. I would definitely say this would be a fantastic time. Capture this tower. Keep a unit in there to capture up this tower. It will start firing at the defending units there. It will definitely help them out. Celtic warriors charging on down the road, getting into these eastern archers. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, eastern archers not going to last. Oswan still up on the wall, taking on this Nabataean swordsman unit. Probably not going to be fighting for very much longer, but oh god. Yeah, everybody, three units of cavalry descending on this African pikeman who somehow still has over 100 men. Yep, never mind. As soon as I say that, under 100. Down to 97. Cataphract's still in there. 399. 400 kills for that unit. But he still has... Yeah, there's still two units of cavalry over here. Pontic Royal Cavalry and the other unit of the Hellenic Cataphracts that have actually been involved in this fight so far. A lot of cavalry still inside that has not been touched. Pontic General, the Nabataean General, the other Hellenic Cataphracts. And he still has 31 Pontic Royal Cavalry in there. 193 kills. Balance of power is definitely in favor of the defenders at this point. Chem Palace Guard coming in big again, holding back a unit of Oswan, but they do have control. The attackers, I should say, 
do have control of this tower now. So this Rakem Palace guard is definitely going to start taking a couple of losses here and there. Should help the Osworn out as far as trying to make their way further into the settlement. Osworn General pulling away. This Osworn's still on the wall. I don't see any more archers firing, actually. I'm just noticing that. Are the defending archers? No, he's still got bows in his hand. What about this one? They still have bows? Nope, they do not. They do not have any more bows. Here comes that 31 unit of the uh, Royal Cavalry for Pontus. What happened here? Why are they way... Oh, I think that was the unit. Maybe they... That was the unit that took out the rest of the pikemen. Okay. That is why... Whoa, what is this? Arverni. Celtic warriors all the way over on this side by themselves. Wonder if maybe that's where the Pontic Cavalry is going? Maybe they're just going to come over here and charge in? I mean, they could absolutely hit this unit from two angles. Probably destroy it very, very quickly. 117 with 103 kills. But imagine they may not have a whole lot of javelins left. All right, Arverni's just kind of boxing himself in the corner here, staying safe, staying in the safe zone here, keeping the tower nearby. But again, we have archers firing. Eastern archers? No. Who's firing? I just saw arrows going. Just saw it. Hmm, not sure. Osworn pulling away, though. Running away from the Nevitian swordsman, heading back towards the tower as well. I mean, you got to do what you got to do sometimes, especially when you're by yourself, because Carthage is now completely gone. Carthage is totally gone. We still have 17 minutes left in this battle, guys. A lot of death yet to come, I imagine. Osworn winning. Might need a buff. Where's the general? Does the, did he bring the right shot? He did. Definitely wants the second win, that, that Osworn unit right there. Definitely wants to do that. Unless maybe he's waiting for the headhunt to come around again. I would suggest, even though they're already exhausted, hit that headhunt one last time, then refresh them. Definitely will help them out. Oh, Nabatea chased. Nabatea chased with the Nabatean swordsman down towards the Oswan. That might have not have been a good idea. Might have not have. Might have not have. Might not have been a good idea. Oh, yeah, see, right here, this isn't something I would even be wasting javelins on. Just charge this. Charge this axe. This heavy archer, I mean. That Oswan could walk right through them. Then we have a unit of eastern archers. Again, a unit they can trash. This one unit of Oswan, actually, over here, has the potential... Of doing a lot of damage. Axe Warriors 183, 60. I'm just basically looking to see if maybe any of these units still have javelins left. Maybe this Pontic Swordsman does. They only have 37 kills. They might still have some javelins left. I would absolutely, the second unit of Os Yep, I was just about to say, get the. No, 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 no. Bring this Os one down here. Bring the Os one down here. Start just carving into these units. This is all just medium melee over here. This is nothing really scary. Heavy melee there, but you got the. Very heavy melee Osworn just chewing up archers. Lunch, breakfast, dinner, second breakfast, midday snack, whatever all those hobbits said from the Lord of the Rings movies. Osworn putting in the damage, putting in the work. And Nabatea is retreating. Nabatea is now retreating away from this front area. Cataphract's still outside, 406. They're wavering. I mean, get him inside. At least bring him back inside. Oh, actually, he's got two galaxies. Yeah, he does still have two galaxies. All right, let's see. 45 and 42. So they do still have some ammunition left. Celtic Warriors just still hanging out over here. Here comes the chariots. Chariots maybe going to come around? Maybe the chariots going to come around over here? Now, Arverni does have control of this tower, though. So maybe the Arverni player doesn't see this chariot yet. Chariot's just kind of sitting. He's waiting. He's waiting. I think... Oh, I think I see what's happening. I think I see what is happening... The defenders now pulling away, maybe going to bait the Arverni army to come in, thinking that everything is totally fine for the Arverni force to move forward. Ooh, cataphracts on the move. I see that red line making their way forward. Now, the attackers do have control of this tower, so I don't know. This Hellenic cataphract may get taken out. I want to keep an eye on that chariot unit for sure. Heavy horse charging on through the settlement. Oswan General hanging out over there. We have a unit of Pontic Royal Cavalry. 32 men in the unit. Let's take a look, though, here. Five. Yeah, they're getting dropped. Four. Mm, unfortunate. I don't think they're going to make it. Even if they do make it in, I don't think they're really going to be able to do a whole bunch of damage. They've already done a, done a ton of damage already, though. Down to four. 406 kills. Down to two. Oh, sorry, three. Where's the third? There he is. Down to three. Down to two. Yeah, they're done. 
They are done. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But all right, Arverni making their way forward. <clears throat> Heavy horse leading the way, scouting the line. Pa uh, so another unit of Rakem Palace Guard there defending. Now these chariots. These chariots. Ooh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, did Arverni forget about this unit? Maybe he forgot this unit. The Celtic Warriors is there. Because they have not moved for several minutes. I would definitely get them over there. Get them back over with the rest of the army. Now let's see what he still has. Full strength Osworn. Uh, 120, 109, oh, 75 Chosen Swordsmen, 160 Celtic Warriors. He still has some pretty strong infantry there. Along with the Osworn General. Pontus sending out another unit of his Royal Cavalry out. Maybe we're going to use... Make use of this breach. Try and get inside behind them. Behind the Arverni force. Arverni's kind of just moving his troops around a little bit. Maybe he's just trying to survey the land a little bit. I mean, there's Osworn General over here staring at the face of a unit of Hellenic Desert Cataphracts. It's probably why the General's not moving. Oh, wait. No, no, no. He's moving the General forward. Maybe get some Pilas? Some Javelins? Maybe? We'll have to see. We'll have to see what goes on. Doesn't really look like a whole lot is going over on that side just yet. Arverni's still moving his infantry up. This general, though. Yep. Peel of Ollie. Javelin volley. Oh, my God. Oh, that was a lot. And they're going to get into this cataphract. They're not going to. He's trying to run them. They get cut into, though. They are getting cut into. Nabatea looked like he was too focused moving his infantry around. Cataphracts, oh my god, there was 54 down to 18, 17 unit, 17 men, I should say, left in that unit. Second unit of the Cataphracts coming over here. This is the untouched, unused unit of Cataphracts so far. Oh, Oswan, no, 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 no. Don't fall for the trap. Go back. Do not fall for this trap. Cataphracts are going to come this way. They're going to come down. They're going to come this way. Don't do it. No. Go back. Yes, go back. Retreat back. Find yourself somewhere safe to sit. Royal Cavalry coming in. Let's see. Is there fighting going on up over here? There is. Osworn not getting the great full frontal charge. And onto this for Ken Palace Guard. But we have Chosen Swordsman over here taking on a unit of the Nabatean Axe Warriors. Still has Osworn in re reinforcements. Still has two more units, three more units, counting the general of reinforcements. But oh boy. No, no, no. Osworn General. Oh, he's in a problem now. He definitely has a problem now. This other Osworn needs to get around the corner. Oh, no. Did kind of, kind of get into the shield wall. But here comes the other Osworn. Oh, no. Cataphracts again. Blasting into the back of that Osworn general. Didn't get any kills on that. Four kills on that charge. Really? Wow. Not very good. Pontic Royal Cavalry getting taken out. The larger unit of the Cataphracts running away. Looks like he's trying to pull the other unit away as well. 14 left in that unit. But this Pontic Royal Cavalry getting taken out. 133 kills. Not terrible. Probably wished he had gotten better, but still, that was a very nice little move right there by the defenders, Nabatea and Pontus. Trapping out the Osworn General. Only lost 17 men, though. Massive charge with those units of heavy cavalry. Only lost 17 men. Osworn, guys. Osworn. Oath Sworn. Oh, Chosen Swordsman losing against the Axe Warriors. Let's get another unit in there, boys. Let's get another unit. Where is those Celtics? There's the Celtic. Is that? No. He's still got this unit over here. Go. I think he forgot they're here. I think he forgot they're over there. That's well, good. I would definitely get another Celtic warrior up here. I would get this unit of Celtic warrior up there right now. 160 men. Get him in here. Hope these chosen swordsmen out. Nabatean Axe Warriors coming around over here. Oswan shifting down. Yep, there goes that. Oh, do they still have ammo? Something was just thrown. Is it maybe Javelins again? But the second unit of Oswan now coming in. How's this first unit doing? 198 kills. They've lost five men. This unit here, 255 down to 118. Crushing these Axe Warriors. Going to murder them. Straight up murder them. I'm trying to pull one of them away. I think he is. I think he's trying to pull one of them away. Heavy horse here. Osworn making their way forward. Here comes the Osworn General. Pontus again coming in with a big charge in onto the flank of that Osworn unit. But doesn't look, again, does not look like they were very successful in getting a lot of kills. 195 kills. They definitely, obviously, didn't get 195 kills right then. But I don't think they got that many kills. Osworn General definitely needs to get up here. 
get this unit a buff. Give them that second wind buff. Come on. I mean, even he's tired, though, but he's only very tired. This unit is in melee. Not seeing headhunt as well. Oh, there you go. Refreshed him. Good job. Well done. Second wind on the Osworn, giving them that battle rhythm as well. Trying to carve their way through this for Chem Palace Guard. Still holding for the moment, but I don't think they're going to hold for very much longer. He's lining up another unit, maybe getting ready for a charge. He's got his Osworn General moving in. Where are those chariots? Still just hanging out there. Again, Celtic Warriors just hanging out over here as well. More infantry units back over here. I wonder, is he using them? Oh, he's using them to defend. I guess in case any of the defending cavalry comes around this way. Maybe he's just going to try and keep a unit back here. Pretty strong infantry unit back here to keep an eye on his rear lines. Archers again. I mean, they still have ammo, I think. Yeah, they do. They definitely still have ammunition. Might not be a bad idea to turn them around. Uh, uh, Might not be a bad idea. There we go. To get these Gallic Hunters up into the fight. They only have 42 kills. There's 30... How many? 31 of them left in the unit. Yeah, I would definitely get them involved. Start firing away on something. Maybe they could take out this Axe Warrior unit, or at least do a lot of more damage to the Axe Warrior unit. But another unit of Osborn now charging in here. Chem Palace Guard. This unit going to cycle out. Not a bad idea to cycle the Osworn. Oh, they're not going to be cycled out for very long, though. Here comes those Nabatine Axe Warriors again. Going to get in with these Osworn who have just been non-stop fighting. Non-stop fighting for at least the last five to ten minutes. Ooh. Oh, nice decapitation right there. Very nice. Where are those chariots? He's still just hanging out. Oh, he did. He remembered. Okay, good. <laughs> I made a comment a couple times about it, but he did remember him. He got him back over here. Good. Needs all the infantry he can take. All the infantry he can muster, I should say. 19 heavy archers still have ammo. Oh, God. They're firing into that Os one. Yep. Firing right into the shield, non-shielded side of that Os one unit. Axe warriors are gone, though. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, no, he's charging. Helena Cataphracts, turn around, Osworn, turn around. Turn around. Cataphracts coming in. There's 14 of them. They can do a lot of damage. Oh, God. Oh, what is that? No. Oh, their shield wall. Getting into shield wall. They stopped it. Wow. Again, lucky break for an attacking unit. Making mention of the uh, pikemen that were over, over here that magically just got those pikes out just at the right time. But very well done there. Oswan getting into that shield wall. They actually just hit headhunt. Oh, there we go. They're going to charge in here. Cataphracts are going to turn back around, though. Now with the Oswan bringing themselves into melee. <clears throat> nope, turning them around again. Not going to be as lucky this time. Not going to be as lucky that time with the shield wall. Chem Palace Guard down to 37 men. Olenic Cataphracts now down to eight. Oh boy. But we do have, see, look at this. Look at the amount of cavalry the defenders still have. This is rough. The attackers only having one unit of heavy horse there. They need to break through this. This is a place they need to break through here. Hopefully get through that second unit of Ponte. Oh, there goes the Rakan Palace Guard getting taken out. Shut and go! Getting taken out. We got the cataphracts coming around. Looks like they're going to try and get around the Osworn. Yep, they are. I'm going to just walk right past them. Charging into the back. Oh, big time. Big time. Eight Hellenic cataphracts. Nice rear charge. Forcing both of these Osworn to now turn around. 473 kills with this cataphract. The Rakem Palace Guard held for as long as they needed to. Pontic Swords are now unfortunately not going to, like I said, I've made mention a couple of times already, Pontic Swords are not going to stand up to Osworn. Not going to stand up to Osworn. There's not a lot of units in the game that will stand up to Osworn. As, as far as like melee, I mean, obviously Pikes can hold Osworn back forever as they hold back pretty much any unit aside of maybe a stronger unit of Pikes or Archers, you know, artillery, stuff like that. But melee infantry, 
There's not a lot that can stand up against those one. 94 for the general, 315 for that unit, 373, a lot of kills today. Lots and lots and lots of kills. Chariots moving, where'd they go? Nope, they're still just sitting there. Chariots waiting for the perfect opportunity down to three and a half minutes left in the battle. We have the Nabataean Heavy Archers again firing in onto this Oswan. I'm not sure, maybe they were facing the wrong direction. The Pontus and Nabataean now mounting up some of their cavalry. Maybe getting ready to charge in over here. Arverni ready for it. Absolutely ready for it. Getting a unit of their Oathsworn into shield wall there. Getting ready to defend against that cavalry. Oathsworn General. Oathsworn General going to destroy this Pontic Swordsman. 129 kills now for the Oathsworn General. Very nice. Oh, God. Never mind. Not good. Arverni shield wall not in the right place. Oathsworn General just got great trained. Freight trained by that Ponta Cavalry. Now again, Ponta Cavalry is going to get stuck in, get, get caught. Oswan coming in behind him. Yep, they're caught out. They're done. Oswan General still 113 men left in the unit. Here comes another unit of the Cataphracts. Looks like the General here, Ponta Royal Cavalry General, maybe making his way around? No, not making his way yet. Cataphracts did, though. Cataphracts charging in onto the Oswan. Solid charge. Solid charge. 26 to 30. Climbing closer and closer to 50. 39 kills, but this is broken through. This is broken through. This is when these guys need to charge in. Need to start making some advance here. Here comes the Pontic Royal Cavalry General getting a massive charge in onto these Celtic Warriors. Heavy Horse was nearby close enough to be able to help out. This Pontic Royal Cavalry currently winning the fight, but if he stays in melee for very long, he is not going to survive. Melee defense of 17. Taking on two melee units. But here comes the Nabataean general now getting involved. Yeah, Arverni, you got to get more infantry up here, bud. You got to get these other two units involved. Oathsworn and the Celtic warriors need to get up here. Chariots moving. Here they come. Oh, no. Here comes the end of the battle. This is the end of the battle. Chariots are going to get thousands, not thousands, hundreds of kills. Here they come. They're going to run right into this. No, they went right around the Oathsworn. Into the Archers and the Ballista Squad. <coughs> keep moving. Chariots have to keep moving. Keep going. 58 kills. Oathsworn still fighting up here. Unit is winning. Oathsworn here. Another Oathsworn getting involved. Chariots over here, though. Going to cut up the rest of this back here. But, oh, looks like, wait, wait, wait. We've got some units doubling back. Chariots 217, 230, 250, Ready. 270. Come on quickly now. Cutting into Understood. those Celtic Warriors, Ready getting into that Oswan unit as well. Your orders. 300 now. Yeah, there you go. Best 300 with the Chariots. Trying to break through. He's going around the Oswan shield wall. Unfortunately, the shield wall. Oh, it's not shield wall. It's just headhunt. Yeah, that's it. That is definitely Engage. it. Well done, but the Chariots holding them back long enough. Just waiting in time to get a great flanking charge in onto those Oathsworn. <coughs> Excuse me there. Cleaning out the rest of the Oathsworn army, the Arverni army, I should say. There you go. Costly. Should be very costly victory, but costly victory nonetheless. Let's take a look at the ending army compositions, starting off with Lord Skitsfire. Yes, Lord Skitsfire playing as Pontus very well done sending the replay in thank you very much but if you guys want to send replays in as well make sure to join the hungry wolves discord the channel there youtube replays find that channel after you get your access card from the server rules tab and you guys can put your replays in there for me if you'd like me to cover them but pontus lord skitsfire 2,158 kills, 123 with the general. His other cavalry, 133, 100, and 221. Chariots, 398 kills. Great job. Uh, his Eastern Archers, two of them did pretty good, 148, 105. Pontic Swordsman, 69 giggity, uh, 119, 139, and that's really uh, 124. So three, counting the 69, so three units over 100. We'll give the 69 the same credit that we give the guys that get over 100. He's got one there with 84 as well, but Pontus Infantry just did not hold up. Uh, then we have Mr. Nobody here playing as Nabatea, 2,361 kills, 47 with the General, Hellenic Cataphracts, 406, 473, great job there, Archers, 126, 211, 108, 131, 
Uh, Axe Warriors, wow, look at that. Axe Warrior, 222 kills. Great job there. His Swordsman did not hold up very well. Rakem Palace Guard, they held, but not a whole lot of kills. This unit here with 101, though. Great job there. Macrofo here, 2,950 kills. Great, great job. 275 with his General. Heavy Horse, unfortunately, didn't get a whole lot of kills. Gallic Hunters, 135, 112. Celtic Warriors, 208, 103. Getting into the Chosens, one unit there with 124, but it's Osborne. There's the carry. This is, these are the carry units right here. 344, 169, 428, 394, 280. Great job. All six units of his Osworn. Fantastic job. And then we have Skid86 here with Carthage. Ended with 1,160 kills, though he got run over by a lot. He still ended with over 1,000 kills, so good job to you. Uh, General didn't do very much. Archers, one unit there with 111. Pikemen, unfortunately, got run over. Libyan Infantry, uh, let's see, we have 53, 58, 92, 137, there we go. And his Noble Fighters actually did pretty good, 215, 126. I think they were on that front wall that just got shot down, though, by all the archers. But there you go, guys, end of today's battle, the might of the Osworn coming real close to winning that. I feel like they, if the Chariots weren't there, I don't know. I don't know. The might of the Osworn, though, guys, oof. All right, guys, that is going to be the end again. Remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Share the video around. Close to 11,000 subscribers. And I want to thank each and every single one of you guys and girls who are coming in, watching the content, liking the videos, commenting, commenting on them. Awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate every single one of you. But that is going to be the end for me. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.